From Santa Clara in California, the Levi's Stadium from Gennaro Gattuso. Just a couple of changes from the side which lost to Tottenham on Tuesday in Minneapolis. Yeah, and Locatelli in the center of midfield, number 73, a young star on the rise. Keep an eye out on him. And 68, Rodriguez. And can he, can he handle Malcolm? It will be interesting. Malcolm not starting in the middle for Barcelona, but he is indeed starting this side, though. AC Milan coming in with a fair bit of confidence after that injection of money and a change of ownership has seen them acquire Gonzalo Higuain in the transfer window. A couple of weeks out from the starting uh, seasons for both of these sides. This is the starting 11 that Ernesto Valverde has gone with. A lot of changes for them. Yeah, not a recognizable Barcelona team, but the Barcelona, to Barcelona team of today, Arthur, number four, he really does look as if he's gonna be a, another superstar in midfield for Barcelona. We'll see how he orchestrates things. And number 26 out there on the right, Malcolm, someone who they paid an awful lot of money for and upsent Roma along the way. We'll see if his tricks and flicks come off today. It'll be AC Milan to kick off, going from left to right. And we are underway. Coming forward already from right back, Nelson Semedo for Barcelona. They get the first shot away, 32 seconds on the clock. Lightning start, Munir, who already has been uh, who had a lightning start to his Barcelona career. Arthur. Gattuso maybe think. Arthur. Very slick, moving the ball quickly, Barcelona. Miranda's ball in, not really dealt with by Romad Noli. Pitch. Here's Malcolm. And looking for the return. Would have been a splendid goal, but it was very good covering from Alessio Romagnoli. Romagnoli read the one-two, and he had to because, again, sharp play on the edge of the box. Malcolm playing the one-two, sweeping the ball left, opening up, just starting to create those spaces that they are, can attack. Had a chance to stretch his legs. Guess his early deliveries, not bad. Real chance, must be. And they're asking for handball against Molon Santos. It's not given. And it's sent behind for a corner by Juan Miranda. Well, well from out of nowhere, Milan nearly ahead. Kessie does well down the right. The ball pops out to Barini. I just thought maybe he took a little bit too, too long. He took a touch. He's trying to weigh up the situation. Fierce shot goes in. No intentional handball there. Salona midfield as well with the addition of Arturo Vidal. Ernesto Valverde saying he knows he's not a... Typical Barcelona type midfielder as Barcelona plays some typical football and Malcolm almost steers them in front. Wonderful ball and Malcolm just didn't get the contact through the six yard box. Again, just a... whipped in nicely as well by Malcolm and not fully away and the header's too close to Donnarumma. Arthur sends it forwards. Munir on for Nelson Semedo, who's got plenty of pace, showing it here as well, and winning a corner. I think it's Romagnoli again, who's across well. That was a clever run from Semedo. He's, he's making out, he's going down the touchline, cuts back inside, well found with the pass inside. Gets the toe away from Rodriguez. It's the captain again. Nelson Semedo. Mark, everyone's running away from him. You could see he's looking for an option to play the ball in and play off of someone. Arthur! Cracking hit, and it's a decent save from Donnarumma. As so we see this Arthur shot again. Well saved by Donnarumma. Not quite in the corner, comfortable. You're losing the services of one of the finest players ever. Well, one of the greatest goal scorers ever, and all those goals out of your team. Chance and off the post from Malcolm. Just Got a touch a, on the way through. Just took a deflection. And Hannah played that out from the back nicely, but curse of the commentator strikes. And there is the strike just wide. Well, once again, Milan, their own worst enemies. Well, it's Locatelli that's dispossessed. Rodriguez plays the ball. Monia robs Locatelli of the ball. This is. Malcolm strike we see as it just comes back here the touch off of uh, Musashio and then Well, nothing changes does it Mark? It doesn't matter who the personnel are they're detailed to play in exactly the same way 
Munier, good ball. The referee does uh, bring the first half proceedings to a close. Uh, all square at the break, but Barcelona will feel they should have the advantage. Yep, dominated possession, had the better chances. Going to be coming on. There's a changing goal as well. Jasper Sillison replaced by Alcacer. Uh, in fact, uh, Mark Andre Terstegen has come on between the sticks. Both teams have 45 minutes then to try and rustle up their first win at this summer's International Champions Cup in their final match. Puig, who's uh, come on, is 18-year-old uh, midfielder as Donnarumma has to get a fist on that to send it clear. Well, not given by Baldomero Toledo and R. Milan going to rub further. Salt in the wound, well, to Stegen, the half-time introductor. Sergio Roberto gets lucky with the bounce, but not lucky with his finish. Yeah, he's on the half-turn, he swivels. Left to play, but... Uh, if it is goalless or just all square after 90 minutes, we go straight to a penalty shootout. Both sides have experienced them in the tournament so far. Cotrone, well, that's two shots on target Milan have had. It bounces favourably for Munir. Malcolm trapped that really well and goes for goal and forces a smart stop out of Donnarumma. Well, he had time and he had space. Malcolm, he had the overlap from the fullback. Miranda and with that it created a little bit of time for him to just weigh up the opportunity to shoot he has a wonderful left foot we can see with the power just moving away slightly from Donnarumma Rafinha's wriggled that on Arthur Rafinha Puig goes for goal and here's a long way off finding the target well the young, the young man is not lacking in confidence Mark is he a clever pass from Munier. Malcolm, nice feet. Just too close to Donnarumma. And uh, you can see there the others to go off. Uh, Locatelli and Cutrone. Maori, Andre Silva and Antonelli amongst those two come on. Said it was a chance for some players to establish themselves as uh, Rafinha tries to establish a lead for Barcelona but uh, it's uh, going to be a yellow card for Kessie and uh, just a bit of ill feeling here he gives the player down but he grabs him in the face he just turns Away from Kesse. Rafinha and Malcolm leading the fullbacks a merry dance. Here's Chalhanulu on the charge, though, cleverly done. It's Andre Silva, angle against him. Oh dear. Long lane. Puig, great turn. Oh, and uh, Milan not happy with the youngster they feel that he went over a touch too easily he did make the most of the contact from Franck Kessi earlier and Jose Mauri who's fond of a strong challenge himself is far from happy so lovely little flick that to find Semedo Semedo's cross and the finish is just wide from Puig what an opportunity for the 18 year old to be the hero for Barcelona well, everything was good about the build-up. It was just a finish from the young man. He actually hits his right heel. I'm not sure that he actually expected it. And in the end, it comes off of his heel. Semedo just clips that ball to him. It's a clever pass. Kessie! And Andre Silva wins it! Remarkable! Barcelona have battered at the door, but AC Milan have nicked the win at the death. And it's Andre Silva with the golden goal. Milan won, Barcelona nil. Well, he's one and only chance. 
just a few seconds before he gave the ball away so cheaply on the halfway line that could have been costly.